From high-tech smart highways that communicate with vehicles to futuristic magnetic levitation roads that eliminate friction, these road design concepts are set to redefine the way we travel. Join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 future road concepts that are going to change transportation forever, maybe. Number 15. Self-Healing Roads Self-healing roads are a pretty new concept in transportation infrastructure that, if made a reality, has the potential to significantly transform the durability and maintenance of roads. Traditional roads are susceptible to damage over time due to various factors such as weather conditions, heavy traffic loads, and aging. But self-healing roads, on the other hand, offer a promising solution by incorporating advanced materials and technologies that can autonomously repair and restore their structural integrity without lengthy and costly maintenance works being required. The key principle behind these self-healing roads lies in the incorporation of materials with healing capabilities. Now, these materials are designed to react to external stimuli, such as pressure or temperature changes, and initiate the healing process when sufficient damage happens. An example of this is used in the shape memory polymer, which can return to their original form when heated, which will effectively repair cracks or deformations in the road surface. The self-healing process in these roads can happen through various mechanisms. Some roads can be embedded with tiny capsules containing healing agents such as reactive chemicals or polymers that are released when cracks appear. These agents will flow into the cracks, fill the gaps, and bond with the surrounding road material, restoring the road's strength. In other cases, the road materials themselves are designed to have self-healing properties where microstructures within the material can realign and reconnect to repair damage. Probably the most important benefit of self-healing roads is the ability to extend the overall lifespan of road infrastructure. By automatically detecting and repairing cracks and potholes, these roads can minimize the need for frequent repairs and resurfacing, which not only reduces maintenance but also minimizes disruptions caused by road closures, leading to a smoother and more efficient traffic flow, which I'm sure all of us would enjoy. Furthermore, self-healing roads have the potential to significantly improve road safety, as cracks and potholes can pose hazards to vehicles and lead to accidents and damage. By quickly fixing these problems, self-healing roads provide a smoother and more reliable driving surface and remove the dangers associated with them. There's also an important environmental impact, too, as they'll help conserve resources and reduce the carbon footprint associated with road construction and maintenance activities, as well as improve the overall durability of the surface and reducing the amount of waste generated from road debris and resurfacing materials. Number 14. Dynamic Lanes On traditional roads, lane markings are painted on, and no matter what happens to the traffic flow, they'll remain the same. This isn't the most effective way of using a paved surface, though, and dynamic lanes offer an alternative. By having the ability to adapt and change their width based on real-time traffic conditions, the utilization of road space can be optimized and made far more efficient. The basic way that they'll work is that intelligent systems equipped with sensors and traffic monitoring technologies continuously analyze the flow of vehicles, and based on the data being collected, it can make dynamic adjustments to the lane widths. During peak hours or periods of heavy traffic, lanes can be narrowed to create additional lanes, maximizing the number of vehicles that can be accommodated on the road. And conversely, during periods of low traffic, wider lanes can be established to improve safety and provide a more comfortable driving experience. The proper implementation of this idea will be able to reduce bottlenecks and improve the overall movement of vehicles, which will ultimately lead to shorter travel times and increase the volume of traffic that a road with this technology can handle, removing the need to expand the infrastructure elsewhere which not only reduces construction costs, but has a clear environmental benefit, too. Dynamic lanes can also respond to incidents or accidents on the road by adjusting lane widths to create more space for emergency vehicles or rerouting traffic, which will further help to minimize the impact of disruptions on the road network. This technology is, of course, in its infancy now, and it's being experimented with in various places, but it may not be long until some of these concepts begin to be incorporated in roads around the world. Number 13. Solar Roadways There's a massive drive now to start producing electricity in greener ways, and substantial upgrades to the energy networks are going to be needed to keep up with increasing demand in the coming years. One solution that could massively help with this is the idea of solar roadways, whereby the traditional asphalt or concrete road surfaces are replaced with solar panels, which would create roads that can generate electricity from the sun. This means that road surfaces would be made of durable and transparent materials that are embedded with photovoltaic cells, which will harness solar energy and convert it into electricity that can be used to power the streetlights, nearby buildings, electric vehicles, or fed back into the grid. 
One of the obvious benefits of this approach is to harness solar energy in areas that are already dedicated to transport infrastructure. By utilizing the vast surface area of roads, solar roadways could maximize the potential for energy production without requiring land or disrupting existing urban or rural spaces. Solar roadways also have the potential to promote energy independence and sustainability, and could help reduce the reliance on fossil fuels and could help mitigate climate change that's been spurred on for so long by transport infrastructure. As well as this, solar roadways could also increase the possible use of smart and integrated technologies, such as LED lighting, sensors, and communication systems, and further enable future road concept features such as intelligent markings, real-time traffic information, and adaptive lighting. Solar panels embedded in road surfaces could also be equipped with heating elements, which could help melt snow and ice during winter months and reduce the risk of accidents due to slippery road conditions, as well as incorporating LED lighting for customizable and highly visible road markings, which would improve visibility and reduce accidents, making the roads far safer, particularly during night or tricky weather conditions. Number 12. Autonomous Vehicle Lanes Vehicle designs are moving forward with technology at an astonishing rate, and one of the more exciting ideas is the idea of self-driving cars. As these become a reality in the coming years, proposals are being put forward for the creation of autonomous vehicle lanes, in a similar way to how there are lanes dedicated for low-polluting or multi-occupant vehicles already, and they aim to improve their operation, safety, and enhance the overall transportation efficiency. By providing a designated space for AVs, these lanes eliminate the uncertainties and unpredictability associated with mixed traffic and will allow these AVs to communicate and interact with each other more effectively. Then they'll be able to coordinate their movements, which would lead to smoother traffic patterns and more effective use of the road space, which would improve communication and coordination and remove the need to share with human-operated vehicles. AVs can travel at optimal speeds, reducing following distances, and navigate intersections better, something that would result in reduced travel times, improved fuel efficiency, and decreased overall congestion on the roadway. There's also a major safety advantage with this, too, as the potential for accidents caused by human error, such as distracted driving or reckless behavior, could almost be entirely avoided. Autonomous vehicles equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and AI systems can operate within the dedicated lanes, adhering to predefined rules and regulations, and maintaining safe distances from other vehicles. By traveling closer together, something known as platooning, they're also able to reduce aerodynamic drag and enhance your fuel efficiency, and with a dedicated lane can take advantage of predictive algorithms and real-time traffic information to optimize route planning to avoid congestion, which again will be a benefit to all road users. There's, of course, a transition period that will be needed for their introduction, where mixed-use lanes will be the best option. But once enough people are using autonomous vehicles, I think this is an inevitability. Number 11. Intelligent Traffic Signals Traffic signals are relied upon by road networks around the globe to manage the flow of traffic at intersections. But while their intent is for them to optimize traffic flow and to reduce congestion as much as possible, technology so far has really only allowed them to operate on fixed timing patterns. But this is all about to change with so-called intelligent traffic signals. The benefits of them will be the ability to adapt and respond to changing traffic patterns, as they'll be equipped with sensors and communication systems that continuously monitor traffic flow, collect data on vehicle volume, speed, and congestion levels, and transmit this information to a central control system. This system then processes that data and uses sophisticated algorithms to adjust signal timings in real time, ensuring traffic flows smoothly and efficiently. Ultimately, they'll be operated by an artificial intelligence that can make immediate decisions on the best way to manage things and will remove any random elements from the equation. A surprisingly high percentage of traffic jams and delays are caused by inefficiencies in the way that signals operate, and by dynamically adjusting timings based on real-time data, these signals can respond to changing traffic conditions, such as rush hour peaks or traffic incidents, and optimize the movement of vehicles. This adaptive approach minimizes the time vehicles spend waiting at red lights, reducing queue lengths, and improve overall travel times, leading to much improved experiences. They'll also help to improve safety on the roads by reducing the occurrence of dangerous situations such as gridlock, excessive queuing, or high-speed conflicts, and will be integrated with other safety measures such as pedestrian detection systems to provide safer crossing and enhance overall road safety for users. The other benefit of better managing traffic is also that there'll be less vehicle idling and congestion, which could help minimize fuel consumption, lower emissions, and improve air quality. Number 10. Elevated Roads 
On most road networks around the world, you'll come across elevated sections, usually at intersections where there are flyovers or overpasses, but it's likely that they'll become even more commonplace in the coming years. Unlike traditional surface roads that run at ground level, elevated roads are constructed above the existing road network and can provide additional lanes or routes for vehicles to travel on, which could reduce congestion and improve traffic flow, and could be particularly beneficial in densely populated areas. That's because they're often the busiest parts of the road network, but also the least space for expansion of the roads that are already there. By building elevated roads above the existing road network, you're utilizing space that's already dedicated to transport and multiplying its efficiency. They can also offer improved safety both for drivers and pedestrians by separating vehicular traffic from pedestrian walkways and intersections. This could eliminate potential accidents caused by the interaction between vehicles and pedestrians, and will also reduce emissions and air pollution. Furthermore, by providing efficient and alternative routes, elevated roads could contribute to more sustainable urban development by reducing the need for expanding road infrastructure at ground level, preserving green spaces, and minimizing the overall environmental footprint. If planned property, elevated roads could enhance connectivity and accessibility within cities too, by creating additional routes to provide direct connections between key areas, which could promote economic growth, facilitate efficient transport, and enhance the overall livability of urban areas. There are already a number of places in the world where elevated highways like this have been implemented, such as Jakarta in Indonesia and Manila in the Philippines. These projects have already proven how beneficial they can be, and planners in other cities are already looking at how they can incorporate them into their own initiatives. Number 9. Robotic Construction Road construction and maintenance can be a long and costly, laborious process, but improvements in technology could change the face of the creation of new routes. Robotic road construction will use automated robotic systems to perform various tasks involved in the development projects, such as excavation, grading, paving, and line marking. The integration of robotics in road construction offers a number of advantages, including increased efficiency, improved safety, and enhanced precision. The reason they're able to benefit in this way is because robotic systems can work continuously without the need for breaks or rest, allowing for uninterrupted construction progress. They can operate at a consistent pace, eliminating human error and variations in work quality, which could lead to faster project completion times and reduce the almost inevitable delays in the completion of road infrastructure. By automating repetitive and physically demanding tasks, robots reduce the risk of work-related injuries to human workers, and it can operate in hazardous or challenging environments, such as steep slopes or extreme temperatures. Robotic systems can also be equipped with advanced sensors and cameras to detect obstacles, monitor surroundings, and ensure safe operation. And this won't necessarily mean that countless jobs are lost, because they'll always need to be overseen by human operators who will need to ensure everything is proceeding as planned. Their ability to precisely control the depth and alignment of excavation or paving will result in smoother road surfaces too, which will improve the overall quality of the roads, and not only enhance ride comfort, but probably extend the life of the infrastructure too. Probably the best thing robotic construction systems will bring though is the end of driving past closed lanes and work in progress signs without any sign of work actually being done, because come rain or shine, and through the day or night, they'll be able to continue with the task at hand. Number 8. Smart Highways Smart highways, also known as intelligent highways or smart roads, are increasingly being implemented on various networks around the world, and are just beginning to show the benefits they can offer. By integrating sensors and monitoring systems, they can detect various parameters such as vehicle speed, traffic volume, weather condition, and road surface conditions. The collected data is then transmitted to the central control system, which processes and analyzes everything to make an informed decision and adjustment in real time to enable proactive traffic management and allow authorities to respond quickly to incidents, congestion, or unexpected events. Up-to-date details of real-time traffic information such as accidents, road closures, or detours help drivers make informed decisions and navigate more efficiently, and when combined with intelligent infrastructure could be used to control dynamic signage, variable speed limit displays, and adaptive lane control systems. Signage can, for example, provide information on traffic conditions, incidents, or upcoming road changes, allowing drivers to adjust their driving behavior accordingly. And variable speed limit displays adjust speed limits based on current traffic conditions or weather, improving safety and optimizing traffic flow. Perhaps most importantly, though, smart highway technology can be used in the early detection of hazards, such as accidents or dangerous road conditions, and can give plenty of warning to road users, as well as changing speed limits when approaching an incident. 
Where they've been implemented already, there's certainly been some teething problems, but within the next decade, this kind of technology could be making highways far more efficient and safer than ever before. Number 7. Pollution Absorbing Surfaces there's no doubt that traffic passing along the road networks produces a huge amount of pollution. And while one solution is to move to electric vehicles that might produce far lower volumes of toxic substances, there's also something that can be done in the makeup of the road itself. Amazingly, it's possible to use specialized surface materials that have the ability to absorb and neutralize pollutants, contributing to improved air quality. To make this work, the surface materials are typically coated with an advanced technology or treated with specialized chemicals that can react with these pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides or volatile organic compounds. Through these reactions, the pollutants are transformed into less harmful substances or trapped within the road surface, preventing their release into the atmosphere. By actively capturing and neutralizing pollutants, these roads can help produce the concentration of harmful substances in the surrounding air and should have a positive impact on public health, as high levels of air pollution are known to contribute to respiratory diseases and other issues. Implementing pollution-absorbing surfaces like these should therefore contribute to creating a healthier and more livable environment. Furthermore, reducing the release of pollutants into the atmosphere means that the roads themselves can contribute to reducing the environmental impact of vehicle emissions, which aligns with wider sustainability goals. There's still some way to go to make this happen effectively, but it could soon drastically reduce pollution associated with the road networks, which should be an important development for the future of transport infrastructure. Number 6. Maglev Roads Maglev roads are a revolutionary idea that if the technology can make them cost-efficient and possible, they'll use magnetic forces to allow vehicles to travel at high speeds and make the transportation network more efficient and environmentally friendly. They use the same principle as maglev railways, and they use magnetic levitation technology to suspend and propel vehicles above the road surface. These vehicles would be equipped with strong magnets that repel against magnets embedded in the road, creating magnetic field that then lifts them slightly off the ground by eliminating the need for physical contact. As well as the potential increased speed, the absence of wheels and traditional tracks also allows for smoother rides, reducing vibration and noise levels, making them an attractive option for long-distance travel, particularly between cities. This reduced friction and air resistance experienced by these maglev vehicles could also result in lower energy requirements compared to conventional transportation systems. And so they have the potential to be more energy efficient and produce fewer carbon emissions, which contribute to the reduction of greenhouse gas. There is, of course, a huge infrastructure upgrade that would be needed for maglev cars to be possible, as the roads would need to be fitted with magnetic systems that have to be carefully designed and maintained to ensure stable levitation. It'll unlikely be something that's available everywhere, but on certain roads, it could be a much better alternative to electric cars or trains. Number 5. Road Integrated Drones Drones, they're increasingly being used for a variety of applications, and as the technology improves, they're going to become an even more commonplace part of society. Rather than simply having free reign of the skies, though, there's a new concept of road-integrated drones that will leverage existing transport routes to create new ones for the fast and effective passage of drones, too. They may even see the creation of dedicated drone lanes or integrating drones directly into road infrastructure, which would allow them to operate in conjunction with ground-based vehicles. The main benefit that road-integrated drones would bring is to delivery services. Drones equipped with cargo compartments can be stationed at designated areas along the road network, and when a delivery is required, the drone can quickly take off from its station, navigate to the destination using the dedicated drone lanes, and make a precise delivery without the need for a ground-based vehicle. This could significantly reduce delivery times, especially in congested urban areas, and provide a more efficient and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional delivery methods. Commercial drones will also be available to use these routes too, which could avoid them from passing over residential areas and reduce any potential risks associated with them. Road-integrated drones can also play a vital role in emergency response and disaster management, as during emergencies, drones equipped with cameras, sensors, or even medical supplies can be deployed from designated drone stations along the road. With further abilities to use drones that are equipped with advanced cameras and sensors to be deployed along the road network to monitor traffic, detect accidents, or identify potential security threats, they'll be able to provide live video feeds to centralized control centers, enabling real-time monitoring and a timely response to incidents. They'll also be able to inspect road conditions, bridges, or tunnels to provide valuable data on the state of infrastructure, and will be able to identify any potential issues, such as cracks or potholes, and they could assist in early detection and preventative maintenance. 
Number four, wireless charging roads. With an increasing number of people now owning and using electric cars, there's one main problem with the technology, maybe more than one, and that's the way that they're charged. Batteries don't offer anywhere near the same range as fuel-based vehicles and aren't yet powerful enough for larger trucks, and not every owner is able to provide charging at home or have the time to wait for their car to charge at a gas station. The idea that could solve all of this is that wireless charging roads could be created, and it could be the biggest revolution in transportation technology in our lifetimes. The basic concept is that it will enable EVs to charge their batteries while driving on specially designed roads. The way this would work is by inductive power transfer, whereby the road surface is equipped with a series of wireless charging coils that generate a magnetic field. EVs equipped with compatible receivers could pick up this magnetic field and convert it back into electrical energy. This will obviously be an extremely convenient process that will completely remove the need to stop at charging stations or plug in vehicles at home. It would provide seamless and interrupted driving experiences, and as EVs can continuously charge their batteries, their driving range would be substantially extended. This will also allow for larger and heavier vehicles to use electric motors along compatible routes and take some of the most polluting vehicles off the road. As more vehicles transition over to electric power, the demand for electricity is going to increase, and by integrating charging infrastructure into roads, the grid could be utilized more efficiently, as the charging power could be delivered directly to vehicles while in motion. This optimized use of electrical infrastructure could lead to cost savings and more efficient use of energy resources, but the main benefit will be the increased uptake of electric vehicles as a whole. Not that I'd call it a benefit. Number 3. Noise Cancelling Roads Roads are responsible for the production of various different types of pollution, and one of the types that most affects the surrounding community is the amount of noise that's made by a busy route. Recent advances in technology and material development have, however, given the rise to the possibility of new road designs that actively reduce the amount of noise that's created. Future noise-canceling roads would be able to incorporate noise reduction mechanisms directly into the road surface and surrounding infrastructure with one approach being the use of road materials that have sound-absorbing properties. These materials could absorb and dampen the sound waves produced by vehicle tires, engines, and aerodynamic effects, and could reduce the overall noise emitted by a passing vehicle. Another idea is the use of active noise controls, which use a sensor to detect the sound levels and frequencies generated by traffic. Based on this information, the system is able to generate anti-noise sound waves that are emitted from speakers installed along the roadside and are precisely timed and synchronized with the original noise waves. This, in theory, would cancel them out through destructive interference, and no one outside the boundaries of the road would hear anything. Not only could this have a major impact on the quality of life for nearby residents, as excessive noise from the road traffic could be a significant source of annoyance, leading to sleep disturbances, stress, and decreased overall well-being, but it would also mean that new homes can be built closer to roads where the noise was previously a prohibitive factor. Some of these proposals can even improve safety on the road itself, because excessive noise could interfere with the ability to hear warning signals, sirens, or other important sounds on the road. By reducing background noise levels, these roads will allow drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians to better detect potential hazards and respond appropriately. Number 2. Green Corridors Roads carve through the landscape and have been destructive to the natural environment in untold ways, but our ability to understand this and take measures in the future to minimize the impact has led to the development of the idea of green corridors, which are going to become more and more common. While environmentalists would argue against the creation of new roads altogether, they offer a midway point that allows for infrastructure to be improved while respecting the natural world around it. In order to support biodiversity and enhance ecological well-being, green corridors are continuous stretches of green spaces along transportation routes that facilitate the movement of wildlife, allowing them to migrate, disperse, and access different habitats. This promotes genetic diversity, helps prevent the fragmentation of ecosystems, and supports the conservation of various plant and animal species. They'll also have the added benefit of helping environmental sustainability and climate resilience, as vegetation within green corridors will help absorb carbon dioxide and provides natural cooling and air purification effects. Green corridors like these can also serve as buffers against noise pollution and air pollution, and will therefore improve the overall quality of the surrounding environment. They'll also offer recreational and social benefits for communities by providing natural spaces for outdoor activities such as walking, cycling, and jogging, and they act as community gathering places. They will, too, add to the overall aesthetic of the surrounding area and mean that road networks don't necessarily have to be a never-ending stretch of grayness. 
with further benefits such as helping with storm water and flood mitigation to improving mental health of people living near the roads as well as those using them there are no downsides to green corridors and hopefully they'll be part of all future road planning wherever it takes place number one vehicle to vehicle communications all right now vehicle to vehicle communications is an advanced technology that enables vehicles to exchange information with each other in real time and it's sure to revolutionize the face of personal transport it allows vehicles to share data such as position, speed, and direction, and acceleration, creating a network of interconnected vehicles that can improve safety, optimize traffic flow, and enhance overall transportation efficiency. Now, drivers will be able to alert each other about potential hazards or dangerous situations on the road. So if, for example, you need to suddenly brake or have a potential collision event, this information will quickly be accessible to nearby vehicles who can take the appropriate preventative action. This ability can significantly reduce the incidence of rear-end collisions, blind spot accidents, and other types of crashes caused by limited visibility or human error. This is an obvious benefit to anyone who drives, but becoming even more valuable as self-driving cars become more prevalent. Ability of vehicles to communicate with each other is a crucial component of autonomous driving technology and will allow them to anticipate and respond to the behavior of other vehicles on the road and also enable vehicles to travel closely together in a coordinated manner, reducing air resistance and improving energy efficiency. Even now, this type of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication can contribute to improved traffic flow and congestion management, and could even allow for the implementation of cooperative adaptive cruise control systems, where vehicles could follow each other at closer distances at the same speed as each other. This technology is already available in limited ways, as you may be familiar with it from your sat-nav. Most mapping companies give you live alerts of upcoming incidents, all based on traffic data that will offer you optimized routes as you're traveling. But the possibilities in the future go far beyond this. Proper deployment of this type of technology can result in a more efficient travel, which will reduce fuel consumption and therefore emissions, meaning strides can be made towards a greener future already, without everyone needing to commit to purchasing a new vehicle. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.